Project MFG chose us to host this contest from the National Machining League. We have 15 contestants from around the country that came here. So half of them are programming today their surprise parts, and then they'll machine them tomorrow. And then the other half actually went out to industry tours locally to see what's available here in our region. So not only we, we teach some of the basics that are critical to this industry, but we're trying to advance that to the future too. There's no secret that we are at a crossroads in, in the US right now. We have a lack of knowledge. We've offshored so much machining technology and knowledge over the years. And it's great to have these programs to support that youth to re-onshore those manufacturing jobs so that we can once again lead the world in manufacturing knowledge. These competitions are critically important because it's one thing to do something in a classroom, sitting in a comfortable, calm environment. But when you get into a competitive environment, it becomes a little bit more real world, right? So you're really putting your skills to the test in a high pressure environment. So seeing all these young students in here today, all the success they're having, they're gonna leave with a new level of confidence, you know, as they go to enter the trades. And it just really helps them bring, bring things up to the next level. The competitions that Project MFG holds, they, they teach you more than anything else will. A computer can teach you one thing, but learning in the field is just a whole nother thing and it will teach you more in the end. You know, even if you don't place, it just prepares you for something in the future if you plan on going into manufacturing. Textbook learning is great, but nothing beats being there, using your hands, learning, and you know, running these machines. Being a high schooler, I don't really know what it looks like to be at a college level machining. And so to come out here and practice doesn't just give me job opportunities and connections, it also helps me learn and kind of see what the next level looks like. In first place, from Saline High School, Semi Blint Blinton Hobbit. Thank you. At the end of the day, it's still a fun competition. And even if I didn't win 10 grand and I got 15th place, I still got to come here and run the machines I'd never otherwise get the opportunity to do.